um, the chairman of EPIS, uh, Mr. Uh, Alan Uyema. EPIS was a recently unveiled sponsor of the Super Eagles national team. Now, um, some sort of motivation, uh, win Cape Verde and get 20 million naira cash. Now, this news came out and um, some people were not cool with it. I mean, same of same every time. You know, you promise this team money and uh, I don't know, at the end of the day, they get the money, they don't get the money. <laughs> you know, we've seen suggestions flying all over. And uh, I want to put this to you now. Does this sit down well with you? With uh, people like this, sponsors coming out to promise the team money, whereas maybe, just maybe the money can be used elsewhere or you know just channel the money somewhere else the infrastructure is there you know you don't have good good pitches stuff like that but does this sit down well with you this coming out to promise the team money if they perform well okay so nigeria is a very unique and peculiar country so some of the things that people get angry for i always wonder come why are you angry so when we went to the last nations cup and the Lagos state governor came in and made promises he didn't fulfill it anyway and some other people made promises that they did not fulfill that's a different one entirely when you're sponsoring a team you are at liberty to do what they call incentive and motivation and that's exactly what the sponsor have done there is no sponsor that will go and build a stadium for us Okay, so we have the Mercedes Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. We have this one. We have Staples Centers. But these are st stadiums that are built and then sponsor come to own it, right? It's different. If uh, Epis were not the Super Eagle sponsors and they came in this, I'll call it ambush marketing. But within the ambit of their sponsorship, within the space of their sponsorship, they, can, they are within their right to do it and do a whole lot more. As a matter of fact, what the man did was the right thing in a million ways. Chelsea were playing in the Champions League. There was no thing in their contract that says that if you win the Champions League, this is what I'll do for you. But they got to the semi-finals and won. And then Roman Abramovich came in and gave them winning bonus. I said if they win the Champions League, he was going to pay them this, this, this. This was out of contract. But he's the owner of the club. And we also have seen where uh, Messi, when Messi was at uh, Barcelona... There was a time where uh, Qatar was their sponsor. Yeah. And Qatar came in during the Champions League finals, I think it was against Manchester United or so, and said that if they win that game, they were going to be giving XYZ special. It's not part of the sponsorship deal, but it was just them saying, you know what, let's incentivize them and make sure they win it because winning it is good for your brand. Okay? It's just like when we went to the Olympics. Afa had a chance to sell themselves, but they didn't rob themselves in glory. So it's 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 okay. The one that is bad is when non-sponsors choose, like we also had with the Olympics, all of a sudden, S.A. Brumel won, and brands who, who did not associate themselves with, with her were not using her pictures, were not, you know, trying to sell off on on our, on our brand, which was bad. I mean, some, some, some of them have been, you know, giving serious legal warning by our team. But Epis, people should understand this. Epis is the official carrier of the Super Eagles. And they are paying for that. If they decide to offer them anything, it's within their right. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not their job to fix stadium. It, there's no stadium that is even uh, free to fix for them. Every of the stadium we have in this country belongs to a state. So which stadium are they going to fix? The Slipper logo is not their stadium. It's not the Super Eagles property too. The Super Eagles can come and lock that. What people forgot is, in this Nigeria, in this country that we are in, a national team came to Lagos to train and they were locked out of the national state, the, the Agege Stadium. People are forgetting that in a hurry. Because at the time, the president of this country was from PDP and the government of Lagos State was APC. And they said that they are a national property, they are not APC property. They didn't allow them to train. He, go on, if you see Imani Amunike, ask him this. Imani Amunike under 17 drove all the way, came all the way from Abuja to come and play at the Agege Stadium. They were not allowed to play there. So let's not, sometimes when people say this thing, it's just funny. Whether it's deliberate stupidity, lack of knowledge, lack of awareness, I don't know. But if I'm your sponsor, I'm at liberty to offer you anything. 20 million is not small money and it's the right thing. Ambush marketing is what is wrong. But this is not ambush marketing. They've already, now the NFF is not struggling with 200 million to fly, chartered flight with a team. That's an advantage. Yeah. They're not bothered about it. It's epic headache. Whether they are going that route or not, Epis' headache is 
to make sure they clear the charter, uh, do whatever entry permits they need, and fly their plane to that place. Fly the eagles there. That's taken care of. So if they now decide, you know what, to push you forward so that our brands are going, don't forget that it's opening doors now for Epis. Yeah, Epis are going into countries that they normally would not go, uh, opening doors, meeting uh, uh, the IATA, you know, quota, and, you know, covering some grants that might open doors for them for their for their flight because they can't always keep their operation locally they need they want to go international, international. the super eagles is their gateway for them so this is them buying the space with their incentive there's nothing wrong with it i don't know what people are complaining about but they need to understand what sponsorship is about and then see how it is done everywhere in the world so putting it out on social media everything is there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it all Absolutely right. nothing wrong with it. All right, so um, by the about... way, it's not even a pizza. Put it out now. Is it not? Yeah, yeah super egos. Yeah. Super egos. Yeah. Put it out. You are listening to a Legbete TV radio.